Hi, this is a tutorial to help you set up a Google Calendar um, for your courses that may correspond to, for example, the due dates on your syllabus, um, and then make all of that available to your students um, either in Google Calendar format or embeddable in a Moodle site. Um, so the goal here is to get your syllabus into Google Calendar format in a way that students can more easily access and view on Google Calendar and on your Moodle site. So to get started, you'll want to open up your U of M email account, and then along the top of the page, click over into your calendar. And from there, um, you should see a section on the left-hand side labeled My Calendars here. And you actually have your own personal calendar that you can toggle on and off with all of your appointments here. But you can create an additional calendar for each of your courses with your course due dates and extra information there. So, click the drop down menu here to the right of My Calendars and click Create New Calendar. From there, you'll want to type in a calendar name, usually just your course name and title. Um, kind of a short name. You can give it a, a description if you want. Uh, make sure the time zone is set to central time, that will just make things easier. And then hit Share This Calendar with Others because you want to share this with the students in your class. You will also, by, by default, it will then share the calendar with anyone in the U of, U of Minnesota. Um, you'll also want to check Make This Calendar Public if you want to embed the calendar on a Moodle site. Um, so it's just easiest to have both of those settings checked. This won't be really discoverable by others unless they have the um, calendar address. It's just a way to make sure that it will embed properly on a Moodle site. Now, go ahead and click Actually, if you want to add any TAs, if you scroll down to the bottom here and you want to add TAs and give them um, permission to add events to the calendar, um, so maybe you want them to help you kind of keep track of your course events, go ahead and enter their email addresses here um, and then set their permission settings to make changes to events. Um, if you want them to be able to invite others to make changes to the calendar, um, you can also allow them to make changes and manage sharing. So it's kind of up to you how much control you want to give your TAs in the calendar management. So once you've set that up, go ahead and click Create Calendar. And you can go ahead and click through this. Uh, now you are ready to add events to the calendar. So for example, let's say that you have an exam on this date. Just go ahead and click and type the name of your event for your associated with your course. And then also just make sure you've chosen um, you'll, you'll now see your calendar in this drop-down menu every time you create a, an event. Just make sure you choose the appropriate calendar that you want to associate it with. So not your personal calendar. Go ahead and choose your course calendar. And you can hit Create an Event. And now you've created your first event for your course. Uh, if you have another, um, let's say you have a quiz on this day. And then again, just make sure that your calendar is selected to be your course calendar, not your personal calendar, and hit Create an Event. And you've got, once that goes through and loads, you should have your second event. Uh, and you can keep doing that through the rest of your syllabus, and you can also make changes to this. And when you make changes, um, it will show up right away and populate through everywhere that you're, you're showing your Google Calendar to students and yourself and looking on your calendar. Now, um, if you end up um, feeling a little cluttered with all the calendars that you're juggling, let's say you have four courses, um, and just multiple calendars and things. You can always toggle each calendar on and off, your personal calendar and all of your course calendars, by going here to the list of my calendars and just clicking them off and clicking them back on. Same with your personal calendar, you can click them off and back on. Um, so that's a good way to just not be overwhelmed but still have multiple calendars going at one time. Once you've created your course calendar, it's pretty simple to go and display it on your course Moodle site. Um, all you have to do is, and, and again, after you've done, I'll put in all of your course events and due dates um, is sort of when it looks best. And then go ahead and go over to your calendar on the left under my calendars. Choose your course calendar that you want to embed. And then click into the calendar settings. And then you just need to scroll down to this area that says embed this calendar. And what Google Calendar does is it gives you this little snippet of code here with a little bit of HTML code. And all you have to do is copy this. And this is what you use to place on your Moodle site wherever you want to embed the calendar. 
So go ahead and copy over this code. And then head to your Moodle site. Now from here, all you have to do is click Add a Resource. And we're going to add this as a label. Um, so it's maybe not what you traditionally think of as a label, but the, the nice thing about a label is it lets us put in HTML code, um, which is what we just grabbed from the Google Calendar site, and display that wherever we decide to put it on a Moodle site. So we're going to call this a label. And then once the label is loaded, you can go ahead and insert the code that you just copied. So instead of typing anything into this box here, you're going to go straight to this button labeled HTML and click on that and it will let you edit the HTML code in this label. And that's exactly what we got over from the Google Calendar. So just paste in what you've just copied over from the Google Calendar, that snippet of code. And you'll be able to tell if you did it right because you'll have an iframe at the beginning here and something that ends in an iframe at the end here. And that means that you've copied it over correctly. Also, one little trick um, to make sure that this displays properly on different types of devices, so if students are viewing on an iPad or viewing on a smaller computer, um, just to make sure that this calendar shrinks and grows with the size of the student's screen, you'll want to change this width here to 100%, and that will just make sure that the calendar adjusts to the size of a student's screen. Um, and you can also do the same for height. If you find the calendar is too tall, you might want to change the height um, to maybe 500. That's the number of pixels. That's um, the pixel height. You'll want to maybe keep the height at a standard number of pixels, but the width you can keep adjustable so that the size of the student screen um, will just adjust. And then once you've done that, click Update. And now you'll actually see your calendar uh, displaying straight in uh, your label. And so this is what students will see when they, uh, when they look at your site. So now when you're done with that, go ahead and just save and return to course. And you should see your new calendar as a label now um, at the top of your site or wherever you decided to embed it. And so that's really all you need to do um, to make sure that students can see your course calendar. And if you click over to when your um, exams and other things are scheduled, you should be able to see that then in this screen on your calendar here. Now there's one final thing you can do to share this course calendar, this Google course calendar with your students. Some students find that they don't want to click into Moodle all the time to check uh, when due dates are, and some students actually really like using Google Calendar to manage all of their events and things in their life. Uh, so one thing you can do is share a link to your calendar with students that they can then paste into their own personal Google Calendar, and all of your course events and due dates will be just juxtaposed and transposed into their own Google Calendar. So they'll see it next to all of their personal events and things that they're organizing in there. So to do that, you're going to go and grab the link to your calendar by clicking over to your calendar and back into calendar settings. And then the link you're looking for that lets students basically subscribe to this calendar, and then again, this dynamically updates, so as you make changes to it too, it will change on their own calendars. So this link that you need to grab to send out to students is down under Calendar Addresses. It's this XML link here. So click on XML next to Calendar Addresses, and you'll see this here is what you can copy. And if you copy that, you can send it off in an email to students, uh, and just let them know that that's what they can use to subscribe to your calendar. Or if someone asks you, that's the link that you send them. Um, so this link you can email off or just treat as any other link you'd send off to students. Click OK. And then I'll show you what a student would do once they get this link from you in their calendar to be able to see the calendar events um, within their own Google Calendar. And again, this is just in addition to putting it up on Moodle just for students who want to manage um, and see these events. Um, transposed into their own Google Calendar. So then for a student, when they get this link from you, they just need to go down to Other Calendars in the lower left part of their screen and click this drop-down menu next to Other Calendars. And again, for them, it, um, this calendar won't be listed in My Calendars, it will be in Other Calendars for students. And they will click Add by URL. And when they do that, they'll get this box here, and all they have to do is paste in the link that you've sent them, that XML link that you've sent them to this calendar. And if they paste that in there and click Add Calendar, 
that will display all of your courses, calendar, events, and due dates and things um, within their own calendar. And then when you update anything on your course calendar from your end, your students will also see those changes reflected inside their own Google Calendar. Um, and it will also be reflected on your Moodle site if you've embedded the, the calendar into your Moodle site. So that's just another way of sharing the calendar with students, especially for those students who already like to use Google Calendar in their daily lives. It's just another good option for them to get access to that.